Hey guys, it's Elle with Renee Sorolla Properties. I wanted to make a quick video to show you guys some tips and tricks about the buyer's portal. The first step is to find your intro email. This email will be sent typically about 24 hours after I set you up on an auto search. It's important that you open this email and click the link in the email. Without clicking this first link, you will not get any of the reoccurring emails that fit your needs for your search. There will be many homes in your portal, and all of the homes will be based off the needs that you com communicated to me during your consultation. If you find homes that do not fit your needs, or you want to be more specific with what you're looking for, let me know and I can adjust your settings. There are many different features in the portal that I would like you to explore. There's a lot of tools, but today I'm just going to feature a couple on this video. Let's take a look at this home. Up at the top, you will see all of the go-to info that you're typically looking for. You can click on the photo and take a peek inside the home. You can also do thumbnail so you can see all the photos on one page. If you scroll down, you'll see all of the info off of the MLS, easy to access and understand. My favorite feature is gonna be right above and I'd love it if you could make this your favorite feature as well. Notes for you and your agent. This is going to be a great spot for me to put easy notes for you to quickly reference on each property. I'll highlight important notes based off what you're looking for and what your needs are. Anytime you see that LL, that's how you'll know it was me leaving you a note. This home is not flooded. That's a great note to have. You can also write me back. Any note that you write, I'll receive on my end of the portal. It's a great way for us to speak back and forth about particular properties and for me to stay up to date with what you like. Let's go back to the results. Another one of my favorite features that I would love to see you use would be the heart. Let's take a look. You can save a property as a favorite, save it as a possibility, or even discard a listing. I encourage you to discard a listing if you know it's not going to fit your needs. My list today is pretty small, but depending on what your search is like, you could have upwards to 40 to 50 listings on your portal, and that can be overwhelming. We can take a look at our favorites on this tab, or go right next door and take a look at the possibilities. We can even go to our discards. If you accidentally discard a property, that's no problem. Just click the trash can and take it right back out. You can do your own custom searches. You can receive messages from me through the portal. And we can stay up to date with one another on what we're looking for.